All right, today we're gonna to cover the human nervous system. So let's go ahead and dive into this. The central nervous system, the CNS, is our brain and spinal cord. It is called the central nervous system because it is at the center. It is our primary central nervous system. And then from the central nervous system, it branches off into the PNS, which is our peripheral nervous system. These are the rest of the nerves throughout the body that emerge from the CNS. So think about your peripheral vision. So we look straight ahead, we can see towards the outside. It's almost the same thing. We have our central nervous system and it is all the rest of the outside of the nerves that are extended throughout our body. The PNS then divides into the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Our somatic nervous system primarily transmits signals to our skeletal muscles. This is voluntary meaning that we can control this by conscious will with the exception of reflexes. This means that when I go to wave at somebody, my brain tells me, okay, wave, and then it perceives with that action. This is voluntary. I choose to do it. However, there is that exception with the reflexes. For instance, say that we stick our hand on a burning hot stove and automatically, involuntarily, we yank our hand back. This is going to be part of the somatic nervous system. Now, on the other hand, we have the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system transmits signals to our visceral organs, ones such as the heart, lungs, and intestines. Now, this is automatic, meaning it's involuntary. We cannot control this by conscious will with the exception of breathing. So the ANS consists of both the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. This is what we will cover briefly today. So the sympathetic nervous system is our fight or flight response system. This helps our body get ready to expend energy because of our body's perceived reaction to threat. This can be physical or emotional stress. For instance, you walk into class and your professor says, all right, students, put away your books and get out a pencil or pen. We have a test today and you did not review the syllabus to see today was an exam day. Your sympathetic nervous system is going to kick in high gear, meaning your heart rate is going to increase. You'll begin to feel that pounding in your chest we have all uncomfortably experienced. Your pupils will dilate. You will stop producing saliva. And then the normal activity of your stomach and intestines will inhibit. So now, say after you completely have bombed this exam, you decide, you know what? I'm gonna go get a massage because I need to relax after this terrible day. As you're receiving a wonderful massage, you begin to feel your heart rate and blood pressure decrease. And you begin to feel calm, rested, and relaxed. Now your parasympathetic nervous system is kicking into high gear. The parasympathetic nervous system is our rest and digest response system. This helps our body conserve and restore energy that we just expended earlier. Now it's important that I note this. I wanna note that as a massage therapist, our way of helping our clients is by therapeutically treating them with massage to a more positive state of homeostasis. This is when our body systems are in balance, meaning that both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems are in balance. And that's really important because if our fight or flight is in high gear constantly because we're constantly stressed, we're worrying, we're overthinking, that means that we could end up having symptoms of constipation and we can totally inhibit the intestines and stomach from doing what they need to do. Cardiovascular disease because our heart rate is high. So it's really important that we activate that parasympathetic nervous system so that we relax, we stay calm. We can do this by meditating, receiving frequent massages, reading, going for a walk. So it's really, really important that we make sure we're trying to stay in homeostasis so that all of our body system is in balance. So hopefully this helps you in getting started with the nervous system. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Keep at it. You're closer than you think and good luck in studying. Real quick, I wanna give a shout out to one of my YouTube friends, Elijah, who's fixing to go into the nervous system and recommended that I put out some more content on the nervous system. So good luck, Elijah, in studying and conquering your anatomy and physiology course. Y'all have a wonderful week and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.